Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kevlock here, and sorry if my audio is a bit bad. I'm moving to a new room, and I'm going to have some audio panels up shortly to make my audio better. But we just got some crazy leaks for the Crown Tundra. So make sure, there's a huge spoiler warning on this, so if you don't want spoilers, this is probably not the video for you. But first, we got Centro leaks saying you can choose a horse similarly to how you choose a tower for Urshifu. So back in the Isle of Armor, you'd pick a tower, the water tower, a fighting tower, I believe. And apparently for a horse that could fuse with Calyrex, you could do that as well. And they say Ultra Beasts are catchable in the post-game. We already knew that these were leaked from the Pokedex leak, but you do have to beat post-game and the Crown Tundra post-game, it seems. So Legendaries are unlocked as soon as you can access Dynamax Adventures. Dynamax Adventures are pretty much where you have to do a couple raids with rental Pokemon, and then you have a Legendary Pokemon at the end. So right when you can unlock this feature, you can get legendaries and the story will take about 10 hours not 10 hours four hours to complete sorry guys it's a bit early but so this is all the info we have that they've gotten and there's a pokemon home data mine that helped out a lot with this but first let's look at the second picture we have all of these shinies leaked and the horses that will be fusing with calyrex so in the top left we have galarian articuno and then it's shiny now you've probably noticed already, for the Kanto birds, the Galarian forms, they all have a shiny that resembles their original. So shiny Articuno Galarian looks pretty similar to the original Articuno. And the Galarian Zapdos shiny looks like the old Zapdos, and so on. And I think that was a really cool feature because no one really knew what these shinies were going to look like. And for them to look like this, resembling the original, I think that's pretty cool. And we finally have, for the first time, Reggie Alecki and Reggie Drago as their shiny as well. I think Reggie Alecki kind of is pretty bland. It just has some little lightning effect, but Reggie Drago gets that nice iron blue and it looks really good. Now these horses, we don't know the names for them. Their shiny on this white and blue horse doesn't really look much different to me, but the second horse, it looks pretty different. It goes from purple to uh, reddish pink hair, kind of like a red velvet. But these Pokemon will be fusing with Calyrex. And Calyrex Shiny really isn't anything too special either. But I guess Calyrex will be riding it on a horse. I don't know. I don't really know why they went with this design choice, but we'll have to see how good these are. And the next and final picture that we have for now is another close-up of the Galarian birds as their Shiny. So these were all dumped from a Pokemon Home update. And it was actually revealed that there will be a Pokemon Home maintenance that will be lasting five hours. So if you're looking to do any type of giveaway or something like that right when the Crown Tundra's out, you're not going to be able to because it's going to take five hours of downtime just for the app to be available. And we saw last time, once the uh, maintenance was over, the app got flooded with people trying to use it for the Isle of Armor, and it was pretty much crashing like crazy. So I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we have these shinies right here again. Dump from Pokemon Home. I don't even know how or why they dumped this update early. Like, this update should not be posted yet because it just gives people the ability to leak and dump this stuff. But, yeah, taking a look, uh, this is pretty basic stuff right here, but this stuff was not meant to leak out early, and we have all this info now. So, so we have the info with a horse going to the tower, just like Urshifu, you pick two towers. And Ultra Beast will be available in the post game. I'm not sure if that just means the Galar post game or once you beat the Crown Tundra. And Legendaries unlocked as soon as you could access Dynamax Adventures. That's all the info we have for now. It was a short video, but I had to get this out because this is like breaking news in the Pokemon Leaks world. So yeah. If you're excited for the Crown Tundra, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because we're going to be doing giveaways as soon as we can when the game's out for... Uh, Shiny Ky or Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, and then we're going to try to get, when the new Pika Hex updates out, we're going to get all these new fusions and shinies if we can. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord. We are officially a Discord partner, and I'll see you guys next time.